IT Enabled is a technology consulting firm that works with businesses across the nation to unlock productivity, reduce expenses, and increase the company's bottom line. With more than 75 years combined experience in the technology industry, our ability to manage and maintain your systems is unparalleled. We are resourceful, trustworthy, and experienced to help your business. Learn more about how we can help you with fast and effective 24-hour support at itenabled.com. Hi, I'm Tara Watson-Watkins, President and CEO of the Lufkin Angelina County Chamber of Commerce. Welcome to the Connect Podcast, Connecting Business to Community. I'm here with my co-host, Blake Polino of BP Media Group. So we just got done recording with Gary Letney, who is the director of the Angelina County Airport. And if you listened to this podcast before, it's been unbelievable what we've learned about the airport and how beneficial it is to our community here in Angelina County. So let's learn more about that and jump into this episode now. Well, we're excited to have uh, Angelina County Airport Director Gary Letney here today. Mm-hmm. Um, Gary, welcome to the podcast. Why don't you Thank let you. our listeners know uh, about your background and how you ended up at the airport? Okay. Well, uh, we had moved to St. Louis as a young person, and my family moved back to Lufkin, and my dad always had a dream of opening up a photo shop in Jasper, Texas. Okay. But at the last minute, decided that... Uh, Lufkin was the place to come, and we were, I was real happy about that. We had Ken folks in Lufkin, and and so people to ride horses with and that. And we did, so we did, it started off real slow. It was two or three years before it ever made a dime, but then it we went 38 years, and the, the digital age kind of caught up with us, but mm-hmm. uh, my dad retired, and Greg, my brother, went off to uh, Lockheed Martin, and was working over there and then I started at the airport 10 years ago mm-hmm. and became manager four okay. years ago. So. Oh, great. Tell us uh, just a little bit about the airport for people in the community that don't know about it or um, you know I hope that's not the case but haven't visited yet as, as nice of a place it is but kind of tell us about about the airport and kind of give us the, the view of that. Okay uh, we're called a general aviation airport and because like we have 21 million dollars worth of asphalt out there well the faa invests in the airports across the country and they invest in angelina county airport it's because for every dollar they put into airports it generates a lot of money in the community Mm -hmm. and so but along with that comes obligations that you have to the faa Mm -hmm. and a lot of them or, or how do you let people access your facility? Mm-hmm. And so they do it on fairness, that you can't take favoritism over small companies, big companies. Even an individual has just as much right to fly at a general aviation airport as do big corporations. Mm-hmm. And so we have to take care of both. We mm-hmm. take care of little guys, big guys, and they all pay the same same price for things. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, that's and we have 29 federal obligations that mm-hmm. we have to maintain yeah you know the airport it is located seven miles southwest of lufkin um, uh-huh. it's got two runways is that correct yeah it's called four there okay. you have two from each direction okay. so you know runway seven is also the other direction is right. runway 25 okay and then but you can uh, approach it seven seven approaches, is that right? Seven different approaches. Yeah, okay. one of them, the ILS, is down at the time, but they're they've just put in a new one and are fixing to power it up, and so then we'll be back to seven. Right That's now fantastic. we've got six. Some of them are GPS approaches, some of them are, are visual approaches, and then you, we have the uh, the ILS approach on runway seven. Okay, uh, should be going again here pretty quick. And we would be remiss not to talk about. Um, most people's favorite part about the airport mm-hmm. is the the grill. Can you tell us about about the restaurant located there? Yeah, I tell you, it's really it's really took off. It has uh, the last couple of years, especially. It was kind of run. It was always has run really good since I've been at the airport, but it it really boosted in two thousand nineteen. It was up at about the last six months of the year, and that continued in the last year until we had the shutdown with COVID. Right. But then as soon as we got started back up, it was even for a month or two in June and July. 
And then we were right back up again. I'm telling so, you, it's my favorite place to come it. get a hamburger. Yeah. And I love the girls that work in there. And it's been so fun over the years. You know, we take Anna Lee there a lot on Saturday mornings. That's that's our time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She wants to go watch the planes take off and land. And she wants to have an airport or an airplane uh, pancake. She <laughs> loves that. But it's been so fun because the girls have seen her since she was born. Yeah. And now with her being seven, and it's they're always, hey, Annalie. And they know her by name and this one's one of our favorite places yeah yeah, yeah it's they, definitely a great view with the uh with the great view uh, food as well so if you yeah if it's it good if it's good weather you're gonna on saturdays you're gonna see some flying oh, and absolutely. the hamburgers are huge they are so if you can't eat a giant hamburger don't be afraid to get the junior burger <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, it's just the, as good the blts are ridiculous i haven't yeah, had yeah. one of those i'll oh, have to have that it's ridiculous yeah that's fantastic that's awesome that's awesome. So in 2019, you were the most improved airport. Tell us uh -huh. about that recognition and what it means to the airport. Well, it really, of course, putting a sign up and all that, and then really helps with new people coming in. Sure. You know, they drive down that entrance road, which everybody just loves. So pretty. Everybody takes pictures there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, they do. Yeah. It used to not be that way, but since the trees have kind of covered the road, mm -hmm. especially in that first half of That's the road. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really became popular with photographers and taking, you know, uh, seniors and that kind That's of right. thing. Yeah. That's right. So, yeah. But uh, the recognition helps with us is there's there's not that many employees with TxDOT Aviation. Okay. I, I used to know exactly the number, but I think it's about 30. That if you know 30 people and they know you, then you know the whole thing. Mm -hmm. You know everything to do with it. and putting in applications for that award and then getting it, you know, they all know who you are. Mm -hmm. I call on the phone and they recognize me and it's just easier to get things done that way. That's right. mm -hmm. And so like uh, we put in for the game fence that we're in the middle of right now, we put into it with a, also added a couple of taxiways, but, but they, they have a three year AIP program is what it's called, uh, airport improvement program. And uh, it's a three-year plan. They put you on three years. You move to two and move to one. But they bumped us up to to first, uh, you know, to the first year, which means it actually means two-year construction because they got to design it one year and build it the next. Mm -hmm. But but and they're in the design stage right now. But uh, certainly helps to know the people at TxDOT and awards help with that for sure. Sure. Yeah. So sure. for. For me, I, I knew up until, I don't know, a few years ago, within the last five years that I've kind of uncovered this gem that is the airport. Mm -hmm. uh, I knew we had one, like I, I kind of had a general idea that we had had an airport out there. But f for those that don't know, kind of tell us about what type of activities are going on out there day to day, just private flights happening. Kind of give us a, an overview yeah. of what kind of yeah. what the, the day to day looks like out there. OK, uh, you know, the the whenever they do our economic impact study, uh, for all the airports in Texas, which there's about 300, I think it's 289 mm -hmm. right now, and and they call us up about that, and so they we have corporate flights, medical care, mm -hmm. we have the cafe, of course, we have uh, recreational flying, military exercises, mm -hmm. we have uh, firefighting flights and evacuations, medical evacuations, mm -hmm. and and uh, Really, it's amazing the type, the the different types that we see yeah. every day. Absolutely, uh, I always love when the military planes are landing. Yeah, yeah. very it's cool huge. To watch. We are supposed to have a ton of them at the end of this week. This weather oh. is is back and forth, just so we're not exactly it's sure how know. it's going to go. Very good to know. Uh, good to if know. it goes like we hope, we'll have about thirty helicopters in. Oh my gosh, that's yeah. awesome! That's yeah. awesome. Now, are you still doing the Young Eagles program? Uh, yeah, that's a part of the EAA that that has a hangar, has two hangars on the field, okay. and they their purpose is to get young people interested in aviation. And they, uh, for people that aren't familiar with that, they take kids up and fly them and let them yeah the find ones, the love of flying. One Saturday every couple months, yeah. they'll do that. They, they got rained out the other day. Okay, but, and do you still do the fajita fly in? Uh, no, no, no. We uh, are. Uh, you know, we're afraid that we can't get any more in than a full cafe that we yeah. get in. Mm -hmm. And so 
that was always I'm not a, sure we have that, that big fun. a benefit. Yeah, yeah, although it was really good. That's what I hear. They had just quit it when I started 10 years ago. Yeah, it was always good. Yeah. And, man, it smelled good when you drove up. Yeah, they would say that, you know, I've, I've seen the ramp covered a few times mm -hmm. with four lines of planes where you'd have 75 or 80 planes. But right. that was, you know, that wasn't that uncommon back in those days. But uh, That's great. But yeah. Is there ever a possibility that you'll be able to fly commercially in and out of Lufkin? Yeah, you know, about three years, and that was before I became manager, so it's probably five years ago. There was a group that was looking at having a flight that went in from here to Waco to San Antonio, Austin, mm -hmm. and kind of making that circle. Mm -hmm. uh, and we kind of thought it was going to happen, but it yeah. didn't. Okay. So it, it can happen. It's, yeah. so it's, it's that a, would sure be nice. It's yeah. a possibility. I, <laughs> hey, I'm yeah. all for it. If there's some uh, group that needs to be backed, I... Uh, I frequent that two hour round trip to airports pretty often. So uh, <laughs> if, uh, if there's any, any way we can help getting some commercial flights out of, uh, out of Angelina County airport, I'm all for it. So yeah. but that's good to know. So it is possible. I mean that the runways yeah. are big enough. I mean, it's, uh, uh, just, well, I mean, you couldn't land up. You know, some, yeah, you big. can. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, it would be the, the FAA will help us do some things like mm -hmm. enlarge our runway. We mm -hmm. have a runway that, if to put 600 feet on it, we'd have to buy some properties and things. So it's would be about $6 million. Mm -hmm. But the FAA in those circumstances, they'll pay 90%. Wow. wow. And so we'd be stuck with the $600,000 right. or so, which we could figure out a way to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because if we could, if we get that 600 feet, we would really become attractive, more attractive Absolutely. to it's big a, companies. It's a game changer. Stuff mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. I mean, we need to have that. That's interesting. Just like we need hangar space. That's yeah. right. Yeah, right. and we're full. We have, we don't have a place to build a new hangar. Mm -hmm. and we could are, tear a couple of old hangars down, but and those are just corporate um, entities keeping their mm -hmm. planes there, private, uh, yeah. private planes for things. But like do that. you have land that you can that you could purchase to create mm -hmm. more hangar space? Yes, we do. We have that. We our newest hangars are down on the south end, and down there we have enough room to build three more access taxiways. Is okay. what they're called where you can build a taxiway off the main taxiway and then build hangars on each side. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they would cost about $200,000 a piece. Well, that $600,000, we could build about 12 corporate hangars. Wow. And you can imagine what that would change. Sure. Yeah. yeah. We've got some of these corporations that have come around lately, you know, they end up just on the round. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so yeah, and I've had in the last three months, I've had three or four that if we had spot, they would build a hangar. Mm -hmm. Interesting. It's been eye-opening to yeah. see that. I mean, even yeah. like our very first episode of this podcast when we had uh, Bob Sanford on to talk about economic development, we told yeah. the story of these corporations wanting to come to Lufkin. And I'm, I'm sure mm -hmm. you heard the story, I hope you have, that uh, when they came here, the first impression they had was somebody, uh, mm -hmm. an airport employee that they met who was just over the top fantastic and yeah. that sold them on Lufkin. Um, and you, you alluded to this earlier, but talk about the economic return uh, that the airport provides. Obviously it's been huge in bringing business here because these okay. businesses need the ability to fly in and out of an airport without having to make that two hour round trip that I was <laughs> I was talking about earlier. So kind of talk to us about sure. that. I know you, you mentioned it a little bit earlier, but. Yeah, yeah, I, that's amazing when you get into the details of that uh, because they, you know, they divided our economic output up into several things. One of them is the projects, that we have projects mm -hmm. and how much that that generates. And they had a study that was done in 2017. And so the, the numbers are two years old, but we've actually increased in every area in those two years. Mm -hmm. So uh, we've had three better years after 2017 mm -hmm. than what we had then. But in 2017, our our construction output in other words the jobs that are created or the money that's created in the community because of construction because when they do just construction you know the, the they use equipment from rental agencies in mm -hmm. town and they they buy their asphalt and concrete mm -hmm. from the local companies they they do all this so and, and this is per year uh, they figured it at 4.6 million dollars wow. wow. in 2017 mm -hmm. now of course here we go with a a construction project again and so that's an average 
uh, per year. Mm -hmm. And then we have uh, uh, employment from Texas airports and the on the on field employment is 79. That's uh, from direct employment with associated with airports. You know, you have your mm -hmm. pilots, your all of us workers, the mm -hmm. people that's in the different hangars, the secretaries and that kind of thing. And it's 79. But then you have rollover because of these employees, you get more employees in a community mm -hmm. and they're saying that's 74. So what they say for Angeline County Airport is that it supports 153 jobs wow. in this community, which you can imagine, Sure. you know, what kind of incentive that the city of Lufkin would give to get in a company that would support 153 jobs. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. No, that's, that's and the interesting thing on that is that, that, that output is used without any uh, local taxpayer money. Mm -hmm. We get our money through the FAA and they, they get their money from fuel taxes and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And so that's where the fuel taxes go for aviation, which is collected separately from, from, from road mm -hmm. taxes. Right. All right. And then we have, uh, uh, that payroll is 7.3 million wow. locally. That's just on payroll. Wow. Yeah. So it's a big benefit economically yeah. to have mm -hmm. a, a good running airport in your community, which we, we, we very do. much we very much do. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, now, as far as visitors coming in town, mm -hmm. that generates a lot. A lot of our business is corporations mm -hmm. and that kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. and, and of course, we generate a lot of fuel sales with the corporations because they're flying jets and oh, you know, sure. they burn all that. But we do get a lot of visitors into Angelina County Airport, mm -hmm. you know, to the, you got a couple golf courses, Nature's Pines, Crown Colony. You got all the forests That's around right. mm -hmm. that the bring lake. in all kinds of hunters, mm -hmm. oh, you yeah. know, a lot of them flying big jets, some of them flying the little planes. You have, you know, the, the museum, Museum of East Texas, the, the Naranjo Museum, the, mm -hmm. the Tex Forestry Museum. Am I losing one? Is that, is that all? I think that's so, yeah, the, yeah and then you've got the history museum uh -huh. yeah you've got lots yeah. of them but we send people around the zoo brings in some that's right but we have a, a really I would good bet, like sam rayburn brings in huh i bet sam rayburn oh yeah brings sam rayburn people. that's one uh -huh. i forgot about absolutely uh -huh. you know and then the restaurants uh in town people fly in just to, to go to restaurants that are local uh, a lot of them come in to visit the one at the cafe yeah but, sure but a lot of them are going out and yeah. then especially the the downtown improvements we yeah. started sending people downtown especially people that come in that are going to stay overnight and they mm -hmm. want to know where to go mm -hmm. we send them downtown That's and right. they just love it yeah. i mean they love it it's such a great atmosphere with all the mm -hmm. lights and the shopping and now with the restaurants downtown and so their tech stocks estimated number in 2017 which we've been doing better every year since, but they said we had 2,300, I mean, 9,300 visitors to Angelina County Airport, and that's not talking about the corporate people. Right. That's mm -hmm. just the the Social. people visiting this area to visit Ken folks or to that's just right. come in for these all these different purposes. And and so that generates the visitor-related output. That generates... Three point nine million dollars wow. in the community, just from the regular folks mm -hmm. landing at the airport. Well, and I know that you uh, fuel sales. I mean, that's a good measure of how the airport's doing. And mm -hmm. with all of this, you know, your fuel fuel sales are just skyrocketing. Then, there, yeah, it really turned around in two thousand sixteen at the beginning, but then. 2017 was up a lot, mm -hmm. 2018, 2019 was our best year since 1988 as far as fuel sales right. go. Well, last year, it started off uh, a little bit up in the 5 to 10% range, and then COVID came and mm -hmm. it really shut down. Mm -hmm. But then when we, when we got it going again back in June, June was even with 2019, and then July through... Uh, July through December was up 15 to 20. Okay. And so without the shutdown, we would have finished with the best year, even year better than 2019. Right. But luckily, TxDOT uh, provided funds 
uh, for the, well, they provided it through the FAA. It was in the CARES Act mm -hmm. that we got $69,000 that, that covered those 10 weeks of closure that we had. That's right. Yeah. And so we ended up the year up in the black. That's so that is it was fantastic. a great year, which means we're not taking any money out of the county budget. You know, when they do the budget thing, they approve our budget. Right. But they're not trying to figure out, well, how much money do we give the airport? Yeah. We'd spend it out of our own fund. And I think that's something that uh, some people don't realize is that it's county owned, but public used. Yeah, so, that's right. Um, you know. They tell me on the on the cafe that a lot of people don't know that they can come out to the airport cafe mm -hmm. without having some plane out there yeah. or something like that. We we tell people all the time. People will come in and you know they'll say we're passing through. Where should we go? And I'm like, you've got to go to the airport and have a hamburger. We send people your way all the time. <laughs> um, and then we tell people, you know, if you're spending the night, you ought to go and. You can have a great breakfast at the airport. Yeah, it's always it's good. just a normal. That's right. Country breakfast. That's yeah. right. It's always good. Go. Well, we're so excited to know that things are going well for the airport, and it is that you are headed definitely in the right direction. You've got a grant that's coming through, I believe, yeah. an upcoming grant from the FFA. Yeah, it's the same thing. This new coronavirus aid package that they did. Okay. They included airports again. Nice. Although they have not told us how much that's going to be. It, it they only come through about what three weeks ago. Yeah. So we're looking for that, the finalization well, on that, and TechStop makes it so easy for us. Yeah. 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 Well, we appreciate you being here and letting right. the public hear about the airport. And um, if you haven't been out there, go out there and, and enjoy it. So right. Gary and his team will show you around. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Well, thanks again. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, and yeah, if you haven't figured out that you need to go check out the airport from this podcast, <laughs> I, I don't know what you've been listening to for the last. 30 minutes or so, but uh, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for listening to the podcast. And if you want to catch the video version of this podcast, it's available on the Chamber Facebook page, as well as the Chamber YouTube channel. And we will see you next week.